Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. Let's talk today about cohort analysis. I have template with co- weekly cohorts. Uh, it's here, you can find it here. Cohort analysis by week. By weeks. Uh, it's not typical template actually, because usually we talk about monthly cohorts, but if for example you work with food delivery or taxi maybe some subscriptions weekly subscriptions business this cohort analysis could be interesting for you uh, but actually if you like this template it's kind of easy to update it for monthly cohorts as well so let's observe the template what do we have here uh, this is one page template you have a uh, title of the data report, cohort analysis by weeks. And uh, what is interesting in this template and uh, what you cannot achieve usually in some um, basic Shopify reports, for example, or in other CRM system, we can split by regions. So what, what this is why I'm talking about delivery or taxi services. For example, you work with food delivery in New York City and uh, you want to see how users behave in different districts. Districts. Um, again, I use districts, but it could be different department of one business. It could be different countries. So any dimensions, how can you split your customers? So we have some small comments section where you can uh, take a look and understand what we are talking about on this dashboard. We have um, cohort period of time. So if you have a lot of data, you can um, select some special weeks, some special period of time. Period of time. And on the table, uh, we have a uh, week start. Um, in my case it's Monday but you can change it in uh, supporting Google Sheets to Sunday for example Um, then we have all users how many customers we had during this week so uh, in October uh, from 2nd of October for example we had only one user and uh, this user did we uh, did purchase on week zero and here we have 100 percent it's obvious because all of these users made um, purchase during the first week (laughs) so it's how we count them and for example for this week 2nd of october we can say that this user came back to us on the second week so he made a purchase, then one week he did nothing and he did one purchase uh, during the second week. It means that uh, now we have 100% because we had only one user. But if we take a look for week number four, uh, we can see that um, uh, week zero we had 100 percent it means all four users did purchase during week zero it's normal then uh, one of them came back for us on the second week and three of them of 75 percent came back for us on the fifth week and the same for other weeks uh, i talk about this because it's easier to when we have small numbers so one divided by four it's 25 percent and 75 percent from four it's three users and we can say how long users stay with us usually and we can say this is was the first purchase this was the last purchase uh date and we can say how how long do they stay with us and i think this is very important metric for subscription services for delivery for taxi or something like that and we can say okay um, during the time 
uh, users started to stick with us more and stay with us longer so we are doing well or if opposite users start to stop to use our services we can say okay uh, we changed something in our business or let's check what we did wrong and uh, why is it stopped to use our services uh, and here we have a chart uh, week by week where we can see number of percentage of users who came back for us and on this chart it's nice to see that mostly we lose our customers from week 10 to week 13 so uh, maybe we can send additional emails for users who stayed with us like three months kind of three months and ask them uh, what do they want more and why do they stop to use our service or something like that or maybe we run special remarketing campaigns for these segments of users who stayed with us three months and we know that usually we lose people on this stage so maybe we can push them and try to return to our business mm. That is it basically and the second part of the page uh, exactly same pivot table and chart but uh, by district uh, here I have three districts um, in your case could be different department districts cities countries wherever whatever you have how like it could be any dimension how you can split your customers like group of customers for example, if you use some providers, uh, you work with some aggregation systems and you know you have your own customers and you have your customers from that as a provider, as a provider, some customers from aggregated systems like, uh, I don't know why I'm talking about taxi today, but if you taxi, you have your customers and you, you uh, Uber customers. Uh, you can split it here and see how users behave um, based on different cohort. Um, I really enjoy this template um, and it based on, okay, when I moved to hmm, view mode, you can see that here we have two pages. Second page, it's about how to use this dashboard. When you buy it, you will have some notes from me about how to use this template. Um, when you buy the template, what I really recommend you to do is remove my logo and change to your company logo and change um, colors uh, here in theme and layout. You can extract theme from image or customize theme and change colors and fonts here. Um, now we can go to backend and see what is going here. Here we have two documents, uh, it's cohort by type and cohort. Let's click to edit. I want to open this Google Sheets. Mm, I will open the help tab. Uh, so when you buy the template, you will receive this nice document. On the help tab, you can see mm, you can see instructions how to work with dashboard. Um, here you can see yellow and green tabs in green cells uh, you should change my random data to your data or in input tab uh, just to replace yellow columns to your real data so it could be date order id user id and uh, district as i talked several times already it could be country department or any other dimension how do you want to split your customers mm, how to put how to pull this data um, basically you can do it manually mm, if you need this dashboard once per month uh, you can just download csv file from your crm system and uh, upload it here just copy paste or also, you can use third-party connector services and pull data automatically. I work with these three guys, Supermetrics, Powerman Analytics and Winster IE. You can find link below, links below this video or in the document. Uh, with connector services, you can update your data in Google Sheets automatically, uh, once per day, several times per day. How do you need it? So, 
you just add this data to input tab. We have a lot of transformations tab here and two tabs, cohort by tab and cohort that we connect to Looker Studio. So to when you buy the template, you receive these Google Sheets. You change random data to your project data and um, uh, remove my logo, change colors, and your template is ready to use. I think this is awesome. Hope you agree with me. <laughs> if you need some help uh, to customize your dashboard, to play around with colors, to maybe add some your branding um, identity, uh, update design, I can help you uh, and my team can help you with that. Also, if you like this template, but you will want to make it more complex to add some additional charts and customize this template for your business, we can help you with that as well. Just let me know about that. And I think that is it about this cohort analysis. Hope you like it. Enjoy this template. Know better your customers. And talk to you soon.